Hello children, good morning all of you. Today for class 12, ISC, CBSC and West Bengal board also. Second order derivatives, part 4. That means you have already got three lesson. You must go through that lesson. Now please pay your attention on the board. Sums given from ML Agarwal's book, exercise 5.11 or 5.13 that is whole book. Sum is written here clearly for CBSC and students of West Bengal. Now pay your attention on solution. Here given y equal to this. After writing this differentiating with respect to x we get. Here y and symbol of differentiation first one here we are writing y1. Differentiation that is dy by dx and d squared y by dx squared that is second order. f dash is the first order f double dash sec, uh, second order and similarly y1 first order and y2 second order that symbol you must remember now y1 by differentiating this that is a constant and differentiation of e to the power mx that is the n into e to, the, e to the power mx here same thing b constant and differentiation of e to the power minus mx that is minus m e to the power minus mx now this minus plus so minus and then we have to differentiate again. Differentiating again with respect to x. Here the symbol y2. y1, y2. Am is the constant and differentiation of e to the power mx. That is the m e to the power mx. Same thing here. Bm constant and differentiation of e to the power mx. That is minus f e to the power minus mx. Now m into m that is m square, m into m that is m square and this minus minus it will be plus. So by simplifying we are getting this. m square m square will be common. Then a e to the power mx and plus b e to the power minus mx. If you notice then easily you will understand this expression and this expression exactly same. So in this place we may write because this equal to y. Now we have to reach here. So y2, this is right hand side, we have to bring left hand side. There is plus, so naturally it will be minus. So y2 minus m square y equal to 0. Exactly this we are getting, so it is good. I think very uh, simple and you are understanding also. 11 part 2. If y equal to sine inverse x prove that this we have to prove this is prove and this is also proved here given y equal to sine inverse x differentiating with respect to x we get that is dy by dx here according to proof that is expression according to sum here we have to prove y2 and here is d square y what symbol we will use that depends on sum here y is given, this is why we are using this symbol and here we uh, in the sum is given d square y by dx square. This is why we are using dy by dx symbol. Now differentiation of sine inverse x that is 1 by root over 1 minus x square. Again differentiating with respect to x we get that is second order d square y by dx square according to sum and this is u by v, u by v, v unchanged, differentiation of u that is 1 and u unchanged that is 1 d by dx, differentiation of v and divided by root over 1 minus x square whole square that is v square by applying u by v that is quotient rule. Now we have to simplify differentiation of constant that is 0 and differentiation of this several times we you have seen that is 1 by 2 root over 1 minus x square and this x square again we have to differentiate by chain rule that is 1 minus x square. Then we have to simplify and we have to differentiate also that is 1 minus x square. Here if you notice root over 1 minus x square whole square root and square will be eliminated then it will be 1 minus x square this and this by cross multiplication we are getting this that 1 minus x square d square 
y by dx square and here this is into that means by multiplication it is coming 0 and by simplification it is coming uh, uh, that is 2 root over 1 minus x square and now we have to differentiate again this this is 0 and differentiation of x square that is 2x this 2 and this 2 will be cancelled now what is remaining x divided by root over 1 minus x square and x we are taking separately and 1 by root over 1 minus x square this expression we may replace by dy by dx this that is 1 by root over 1 minus x square that is we may replace by dy by ds from this now 1 minus x square d square y by dx square this is right hand side we are bringing left hand side naturally sign will be changed x dy dx equal to 0 now exactly what we have to do that expression we are getting so it is flipped if you follow the step attentively then easily you will understand okay thank you everybody